What's up, everybody? It's the Style 7 200 thing news. The panel is currently in a system trouble, and uh, oh, which one of these shuts it up? Okay, there we go. Um, panel is currently in a system trouble because uh, you know, power's out. Um, pretty much the only things that still have power in the house are the exit sign right here, the fire alarm panel, as you might be able to see right there, and the phone modem to make emergency phone calls. Uh, phone works. I don't know why a speaker phone won't work. There we go. This is a weird feature with those phones. Um, and I got a couple emergency lights. By couple, it's only this one right here. That's obviously working. That emergency light has had the same battery in it for quite some time. And those... I built that actually. That still works. And some of the exit signs that would have battery backup AKA this one down here that I completely smashed off the ceiling uh, would be on currently, but obviously they're not on now because, you know, I, I freaking long story on that. Uh, as you can see, the exit sign is supposed to be mounted on the ceiling is no longer there. But nonetheless, this is going to be a two-part system test. I Since the last time I made a video, I added in a uh, new device here, so you'll see what it is. Oh. Oh, fool. I had it silenced. You fool! As New Age Sugar Worm would say. Okay. Also, the zone indication for this zone is apparently not working anymore. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, for whatever reason, I'm actually kind of spooked because on night shot, everything looks really creepy in this room, especially the panel. The panel doesn't even look like that. That's really freaky. Infrared does some strange shit. Okay, here we go again. Oh, I can turn that off. I finally mounted it right. About time, huh? We've seen the garage plenty of times. I don't even think it really matters at this point anymore. I'm going to do something pretty cool here that I think some of you might find interesting. I'm going to leave the panel unacknowledged, and I'm actually going to um, put the camera right here. Wow. Look at my eyes. That's pretty freaky, actually. Alright, this is pretty cool what the panel does. I think you might find this kind of interesting. It focuses. Alright, I'm going to leave the panel unacknowledged. Oh, that unsounces it. And I'll be right back. I'll flip on the power, and you hear everything come alive in the house, and... Now, how the panel actually works is, uh, oh, hold on. When a trouble comes into the system, it overwhelms the alarm. So if you notice when there's an alarm on the panel, the piezo goes beep, beep, beep. When there's a system supervisor or trouble, the tone stays constant. No matter if this panel's an alarm, it'll stay constant. And, uh, as you can see, oh, shoot, the printer came on. It scared me. All these machines are firing themselves up, except for this one. This one should fire itself up upon re power reapply, but you gotta do it manually. The modems are coming back online, so that's something I gotta wait for. Alright, well, 
that's not the subject of importance here. We're going to go ahead and reset the system. And we'll do the detector next. Alright. So if I have the, the little heat thing, we'll do the detector next. This is an easy process. Just take the thing and, you know, you know how this works. Alright, so if anyone's seen these prototype detectors before, you know you simply take a, the... It should expand. And it doesn't alarm. Oh, because it didn't it didn't go all the way. There we go. It didn't go all the way. It needed to be a bit more. It's hard to see, but you can see the little red light. Very shoddy design, but it works somehow. Alright. Now, this is something odd. Zone 1 light works, but Zone 2 for the basement doesn't. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but when the Zone 2 light just doesn't work anymore. So that is an issue that I'm having with this panel. Um, it's funny too, because after I fixed every single problem with this panel the other month, this just occurred the other, uh, I don't know when this started occurring. I just noticed that though, so that this must have been recently that that light went out. But other than that, I've got to replace the element on the detector, and that can be done off video. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.